Ever wanted to take your reactive PNG tuber model and make its transitions softer and uh, more fluid? Ever wondered how I could go from a model like this to something like this? It's with the power of animated PNGs, baby! <laughs> hello, hello, hello! My name is Danica and I am a VTuber artist and streamer on Twitch. Twitter and coffee. I've been using ViadoTube Mini since I started out live streaming, and I think it's a wonderful application that I highly suggest anyone looking to start out VTubing to give a chance. The website where you downloaded it from is it's, it's, it's itch.io. It is a pay what you want app developed by Olmeve, and I suggest consider supporting them if you are able to. This is the website, and here is the download button with the name your own price tag. This won't be a comprehensive tutorial on how to use via Dotube Mini. However, I will highlight how I personally use the current version, which in this window you can see is 1.4. How I use ViaDotube to set up my own APNG files to make my VTuber avatar move and look like this. This video is also for those commissioning me for their own APNG tuber avatar as my setup kind of goes hand in hand with how I create, name and animate the models I make. Of course, anyone and everyone is welcome to watch me stumble through this first tutorial of mine. <laughs> With that out of the way, let me get to the actual tutorial part. <coughs> I will be using a newly commissioned model to showcase how I set up my avatar in the app. And to do that, let's go ahead and delete all the extra expressions that I have on the right hand corner here. And let me also showcase how your archive will look like when you commission me for an APNG bundle. So once extracted, you get something like this. You have the base model and any and all expressions divided into subfolders for organization sake. <laughs> Using the base as an example, you will get three different files. There will be a blinking, a speaking, and a static one. These are the terms that I use and I will showcase how I use them in the application itself. So back to the application window. Here you can see there are four different states where you can upload images to the application. Personally, I only use three. I use the closed mouth image, the one that I call static. The open mouth image, which is the speaking animation. And the closed mouth blinking image, which is the blinking. I do not use the open mouth blinking image as I find only using these three make for a more smoother transition and overall movement of the model. So let's switch out these parts to our new model. As you can tell, it looks a bit scuffed when we have two different type of models it switches between. But this also highlights how the application itself switches between a closed mouth and an open mouth and the blinking. So for the second file, we shall choose the speaking file and for the last one, the blinking one. Now 
we have the new model completely set up at least where the files need to go beside these you have motions which is kind of like an animation to the avatar itself if you want to you can leave this empty and just have none i personally prefer the second motion which is the vibing one to give it a, a little softer look and more more alive in a sense there is also a mod transition which will give that avatar a slight bounce each time you speak it is up to your own preference which of these you choose to use this is just how i personally set it up over on the left corner you can see our mic you choose your microphone device on this button and here you have the microphone volume sensitivity and the delay sensitivity in order to give the model enough time between an open and close closed mouth animation i suggest having the delay around this point it also makes sure that when you take breaks in speaking the application has a chance to insert the blinking animation as we are not using the speaking and blinking state here on the left corner we also have the display settings which is used for the background personally i use the gray or the transparent one as it works well for me in obs However, if you want to, you can switch it to a different color, like green, blue, or pink, if you want to set up a chroma key on OBS. Now, this is all you need to do to set up your APNG avatar, unless, of course, you have more expressions to your model. In order to showcase the new expressions, we press the create state plus bottom over on the right corner, which will duplicate our current state. And just as before, we choose the files for the static, the speaking and the blinking. To showcase this, I will pick out the shy expression i think and there we go that is our second expression once you have more than one state or expressions you can utilize the hotkey function which is right next to the multi transition button to switch quickly between different expression states as you can tell the base expression already has a hotkey this is from my previous save all you need to do is press this button and then press whatever key you want to use and we'll do the same for the second one now we can move between the two like so you can also change the hotkey mode personally i prefer to use the enter and press but there is an enter and press leave on release mode as well it's all up to you with this all you need to do is if you have more expressions Keep creating multiple states and upload the correct images to the specific states up here in in, in as we've gone through earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, don't forget 
to always save your progress as Viodo Tube does not save automatically. You need to press the save button and save the Viodo mini file each time you change something. So let me switch back to my regular, regular model. There we go. We can use the application without full screen. But this is not a tutorial on how to set up VideoTube in OBS. There are other good tutorials for that already on YouTube. If you want me to make another tutorial to go more in depth in how I configure VideoTube in OBS, or maybe I look into why I recommend using APNGs rather than GIF or PNG files. Uh, you can feel free to let me know down in the comments below. But for now, this has been a very short, slightly scuffed tutorial <laughs> on how to set up a VTuber model using EPNGs and VTuber Mini. Please like and share this video if you found it helpful. Maybe consider subscribing, follow me on Twitter, and check me out on Twitch and Coffee if you want to show me some support. Thank you so much for st sticking around till the end and remember to take care of yourself, stay happy and healthy, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye! <laughs>